We've been raising ducks for five years. We have seven ducks. We have Cayuga, Gold Star, Swedish Hen, and Mallard Ducks. And this is where they live. They produce amazing, delicious duck eggs. We started with 20 ducklings, we harvested some, and we lost some. Good morning, Deuce. Ducks like a lot of water. Crazy amounts of water. A seriously insane amount of water. We have a pool for them. Thankfully, we have the pond. When we first got the ducks, they were so cute, but super fragile. Hypothermia can be a real danger to ducklings. Ducklings grow really fast, but then comes the next problem, predators. And we have a lot of predators. We've dealt with mink, raccoons, eagles, and now a coyote. We've even dealt with muskrats attacking the ducks in the pond. At first, we thought the ducks could live on the pond. And what a stupid idea that was. Every morning we'd be missing one more duck. Probably an owl, an eagle, or a hawk. So now we keep an eye on them, and we made them a really cool home. But ducks are really strong animals. Thankfully, we haven't dealt with any parasites or illness. Ducks can live in temperatures as low as 20 below zero, and they don't mind it if it's 100 degrees either. We like to have a good male to female ratio. You want one male duck to every five to six females. From the time that they hatch, it takes about six months for them to start producing eggs. We made them these layer boxes. They don't always use them though. They usually nest on the ground. Having a good male to female ratio lowers their stress, thus gives them a better egg production. Duck eggs are really good and some people prefer them to chicken eggs, but some people can be allergic. Ducks can be really funny. They're also relatively easy to corral. They love treats, especially peas. The ducks and the chickens get along really good. Very few fights. Raising ducks is really fun.